Solve y prime minus y1 equals e to x and state the domain of validity. So you, in your class, you should have learned that p of x is the function on y, so that's negative 1. This is continuous on, let's see, negative through positive infinity. Find the mu of t here, that's the integrating factor. So it's e raised to the antiderivative of negative 1 dx, which is then e raised to the negative x. Then you multiply every term in the equation by this quantity. So it's e to the negative x times y prime right, minus e to the negative x times y is equal to e to the x times e to the negative x. Again, every single term gets affected the same way. What you have on the left side is what you would get from doing the product rule. So you can say e to the negative x and then y prime. So check it if you like. The derivative of e to the negative x, okay, so it depends on how you do it, but if you differentiate y first, then the derivative of y is y prime, and then you copy e to the negative x, checks. Then you add to it the derivative of e to the negative x, which is negative 1 e to the negative x, and you copy the y. It checks. On the right side, you have e to the 0, essentially. So then you have e raised to the negative x, y prime is equal to 1, because e to the 0 is 1. Continue over here. To get rid of the derivative, you just integrate on both sides. So you just write whatever is within the parentheses of the y, you get rid of the prime. That indicates differentiation. And then you have 1 dx. So then you have e to the negative x, y is equal to x plus c, for example. Now you just multiply every term again by e to the positive x. So e to the positive x, like this, multiplying e to the negative x. Or you can divide by e to the negative x, however you choose to see this. And then it's going to be e to the positive x, x plus e to the positive x, c. On the left side, the x minus x is 0, so it's e to the 0, which is 1. The same as right here. So e to the x times e to the negative x, it's e to the 0, which is 1. So you put a 1 here. So it's in other words, 1y, which is just y. Then you have, if you like, e to the x, you can keep that outside of parentheses and then x plus c on the inside. And there's your solution valid pretty much for any x you can imagine. So what I mean is like, for example, if imagine you want to match the condition y of 0 equals 1, you can do that. So it's going to be 1 is the value of y is equal to e to the 0, plug in x equals 0, and then 0 plus c. So you have 1 is equal to e to the 0, which is 1, c. So 1 is equal to the value of c in this particular case, which means the specific equation would be y is equal to e to the x plus 1. And that's the solution in this particular condition. But again, whatever initial condition you can imagine, you can match here. You can try it. So like what I mean is if you wanted to match this, you could make that happen. Okay. If you wanted to match this, you could make that happen. Whatever. If you wanted to match this, then you can make that happen also. If it's been helpful, leave a like. Thank you. I will see you in another video.